Hazard versus Risk What is the difference between Hazard and Risk? But before we start, let me introduce myself. I am Jason, and today I will discuss what is the difference between Hazard and Risk, and also the Risk Analysis Process. Have you ever confused these two words? Well, it is very important for us to know the difference between these two words. First, let us talk about the term hazard. What is hazard? A hazard is something that has the potential to cause harm to people, property, or the environment. It could be an electricity, chemicals, working up a ladder, noise, and stress. How about risk? Risk is the likelihood of harm taking place based on the exposure to that hazard. When we refer to risk in relation to occupational safety and health, the most commonly used definition is risk is the likelihood that a person may be harmed or suffers adverse health effect if exposed to a hazard. The term hazard and risk are often used interchangeably, but this simple example explains the difference between the two. Working with electricity electricity itself is the hazard. Working with electricity might cause electric shock and burns from contact with live parts, injury from exposure to arcing, fire from faulty electrical equipment or installations. The shock or other injury caused directly or indirectly by electricity is the risk. Another example for hazard is the spilled water. If there was a spill of water in a room, then that water would present a sleeping hazard to persons passing through it. The probability that someone might be slipped in that area would be the risk. Process. Risk analysis is a proven way of identifying and assessing factors that could negatively affect the success of a business or project. So there are five steps of risk analysis. Step one, you need to identify. So identify the existing and possible threats that you might face. Step 2, assess risk. So, decide who might be harmed and how. For the step 3, identify methods to manage risk. Evaluate the risk arising from threats and decide whether the existing precautions are adequate or if more should be done. For the step 4, implement methods. So, record findings and state how they can be controlled to prevent harm. And for the last step, manage and evaluate. Evaluation allows you to determine the significance of risk to the event and decide to accept the specific risk or take action to prevent or minimize it. That would be all. I thank you.